Hello and welcome to the part number 20. My name is Pavel Křopola from BlenderFree.com and today we will finalize the undo and tree logic. Look at that. This is the final result. We are going to do some operations. We will press Ctrl Z and look at that. They are moving in the history. And when I do Ctrl Shift Z, I will go back the history which is awesome. Isn't that cool? So let's start coding. Okay, so now we go and implement the creating history stamp and restoring the history stamp itself. So we are going to return a history stamp. The history stamp is gonna be an object dictionary with description which is gonna be our desk a snapshot which is gonna be our whole scene serialized so self dot scene dot serialize and then we are going also past the selection which is gonna be another object so let's call it cell obj and cell obj is gonna be another dictionary with a list of selected nodes and selected edges like this and because our scene serialization doesn't actually store the items selected currently in the scene we need to do that for ourselves so for each item in self.g scene dot gr scene dot selected items we are going to decide if it's a node or if it's an edge so if has attribute the item has an attribute called node that's probably gonna be a node so selected obj nodes append item dot node dot id and l if is instance if the item is instance of qdm graphics edge then we are going to append to the cell obj edges append item dot edge dot id and we need to import this one so from node underscore graphics edge I believe we are going to import QDM graphic edge like this and hopefully no 1D here this should serialize our history stamp completely which is kind of awesome and in the restore history stamp what are we going to do is we are going to deserialize the whole scene so self dot scene dot deserialize and we are going to pass the data which is gonna be history stamp snapshot and we are going to restore the selection so for each edge ID in history stamp selection edges we can check if the edge in self dot scene edges if the edge dot ID equals to edge underscore id then we are going to say edge dot gr edge dot set selected to true and we are going to break because we don't need to check each one of the edges once we found one of the edge which is actually the one we are looking for so the same goes for node id in history stamp selection 
nodes and for each node in self scene nodes if the node dot id equals to node underscore id node dot gr node dot set selected it's gonna be true and break okay awesome so this one should actually restore and store our history stamp correctly I will check out uh, change this debug so I will just print out the description okay so let's try that if everything works one two and three when I'm going to print out we will see a lot of things actually yes and let's try to undo that's four it didn't crash which is awesome so let's try to let's try to run this application again so this is gonna be stored as item one as item two as item three as item two doesn't matter and when I press 4, you can see we got undo and redo is working too, which is awesome. So now let's go ahead and try to detect all the things we need to detect to correctly store our history. First off, I'm going to node graphic view, back to the events here and we basically do not need these items here we do not need this one here or maybe I can leave that enabled but instead of writing the whole history stack we are going to write out all of the items so for item in print the history stack and I will create index by default zero and I'm going to print index and the name which is gonna be item and I believe it's desk for description and increment the index plus equals one so let's try that again uh, I disable the storing Let's try it again. When I press H, we got item A, A, A. Awesome. So now, or actually, let's go ahead and delete this one because we don't need that. And we can change this one to be Z. And event dot modifiers and qt dot control modifier so if we press control z then it's gonna be undo and not event dot modifiers and qt shift modifier because we do not want to fire the undo operation only if the control Z is pressed and maybe the shift is pressed so I will copy this line and change this not delete this not so it's definitely shift control shift Z is for the redo operation so let's try it again control Z undo and control shift he is for redo awesome so this one works you got control z and control shift z working and now we need to correctly store all of the events as a history stamps so basically first off we will go to the view and we will look up the delete selected which is here so once we delete 
select it. We do want to go to self grscene.scene dot history dot store history so store history delete select it okay so this is one action if we cut intersecting edges that's when we are control holding and cutting with the mouse then we will definitely do the same thing so let's start that as delete cut it edges what else do we have here we got i guess we got something like edge drag start and edge drag end so let's find those edge drag start we don't care but when edge drag end and we created a new edge which is somewhere here yeah it should be we are going to store a new state again new history stamp which is created new edge by dragging okay and now how to detect if we actually moved with a node we can go to the node graphic node which is here and here is our mouse move event so we can basically create a flag which we can call self was moved by default that's gonna be false when the mouse move event happens that means that the node has been moved so we can say self dot was moved is true and if we override the mouse release event we will call the parent mouse release event with the original event but if self was moved then we are going to reset the flag and we are again going to store to self scene history node moved okay so let's try that Note moved and we got the crash. Why is that? Because QDM graphic node has no scene, but it got only either the scene like this, I believe, or we can go self.node.scene history. So let's try that. And we are storing node moved node moved node moved delete selected delete cut edges which is awesome you can select everything and move them node moved which is awesome but the selection isn't being stored yet or it is no, it's not. Since I'm clicking, nothing changed. So for the selection, we can go ahead to the node graphic scene, which is here, and we can connect to so self selection changed, and we can connect a new function or new method self dot on selection changed. So let's copy that. Define on selection changed. And we will fetch the reference to the view. So that's the self dot views and index zero like this one. And if the view 
or let you know what let's just print selection changed so let's try that selection changed selection changed selection changed which is awesome now when I drag you can see I got too many times the selection changed which is not what I want so the fix for this one should be if I go to node graphic view I will go to the left mouse button release which is here and here completely at the end I will add if self dot drag mode is equal to Q graph graphics view dot rubber band drag then print selection changed and let's test this one I click selection changed selection changed I select everything and release selection changed awesome so this one is basically what I'm looking for so we can go ahead to the node graphic scene itself and I can delete this code which I was adding here because this is not the proper way how we will detect if actually something changed on the selection itself so we don't need to touch the graphic scene we can just be good enough with the node graphic view because the rubber band track is what we are actually using so therefore I'm going to delete this print and say self gr scene dot scene dot history dot store history and I will pass selection changed okay so let's go ahead and test it so my history should be clear I will select the first node second node third node everything and I will select this one delete select delete select delete and now when I press ctrl Z they should start popping up so delete selected okay second one node moved selection changed everything is selected but I got not enough steps inside so let's go ahead and try 32 select 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 everything select I will delete this one select this one delete delete and delete okay control Z node 1 deselect node 2 deselect node 3 with the edge which is awesome control Z selected everything selected the third one second one and the first one and now there are no undo operation awesome so this one works thank you for watching I hope you learned something finally the whole undo and the logic is done and see you at the next part